Hello everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships and today is slightly different, it's a first look at a new upcoming tier 5 French tech tree cruiser, the Emile Bertin. And I'm terribly sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Now keep in mind the French cruisers are still in testing, the stats are still subject to change and it's likely that this is not the final form of this ship. But I thought you'd appreciate seeing some footage of new friendships anyway, and this was a decent game. Also, I have a very untrained captain on this ship. It's a three-point captain, so not much in terms of captain skills. Well, let's talk about this ship itself. It has three turrets with three guns each. They are 152 millimeters. And I feel quite fine for the tier. The ship comes with torpedoes. The torpedoes are pretty nice. They are the same torpedoes that... You keep the same torpedoes until tier 10, which is pretty weird. Because they are decent for tier 5, but not so decent for higher tiers. You have two launchers. The angles are quite okay. You have one on the left side, one on the right side. They launch three torpedoes each and they have a 9 kilometer range. The ship's guns have 14.9 km range, which works quite well in tier 5. And you see it's tier 5, you will up be up tiered a lot. And the range is adequate for higher tiers, so that's good. Now concealment is 12.2, I believe. Now tier 5 you probably don't have concealment expert yet, but you could reduce it further. And hello Clemson. So I'm here in a, not an ideal position, but I want to have some cover with this island. I want to be somewhere close to the center. Now here in this epicenter game mode, there isn't an island in the most inner circle. So that's... Oh, I'm sticking here to the outskirts a bit. And I'm keeping a look on this flank. And I'm hoping that I can catch a few ships that try to stay in the north. Now I can also try to launch some torpedoes in there. And I'm trying to blind fire and hoping that I'll hit someone. I said the torpedoes are quite nice, but I mean three torpedoes aren't that many. But who knows, maybe I'll catch someone in the smoke. And I'm maneuvering myself in an awkward position. I'm kind of showing a bit of broadside over there and my shell arc isn't enough to shoot over this island here. And now I'm switching to armor piercing and I'm trying to get some nice broadside shots at those cruisers. Now keep in mind that nobody is paying any attention to me, so I'm hoping that I can just sit here and farm some nice damage at those cruisers. And now there are the citadels. Of course, as soon as somebody wants to shoot at me, I'll have to be a little bit more careful. I'm quite exposed to those enemies, but you know. As long as they, they are ignoring me. I can't just sit here and test my shells. And I mean this is a typically low tier battle I guess. Yeah, there is a citadel. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also trying to maneuver already a little bit once these cruisers are gone, and yeah, they, they are gone. I will now have to move into a better position. I'm out of targets to shoot it, and I will focus more on the center. It's already looking pretty for our okay, uh, team here. So, yeah, this game is not a close one. Now I'm using my Hydro here. I'm actually expecting the Phoenix to rush in there and get some torpedoes off. But, well, you never know. There's also a destroyer here in the center, and while the Russians have very short-range torpedoes, I'm pretty close to them. So I keep my armor piercing loaded. I'm hoping that I will get some broadside shots at the Phoenix. I'm expecting the Phoenix to turn again, and looks like he is... Uh, well, I Phoenix, so probably no torpedoes here. 
but we still have this Russian ship here. Now I've switched back to high explosive. I'm launching torpedoes there. I mean, the enemy slowed down. I'm expecting him to pop smoke here. For some reason, he doesn't, so... Okay. And now it's time to just YOLO charge a König. The König's turrets aren't pointed in my way. I have a fire going, so... Looking quite nicely. Now, I wouldn't recommend launching the torpedoes this early as I've done right now. It would have been a lot safer to keep them and look what the König's doing. I'm not expecting the König to come my way though. I would have expected the König to run away, so I thought I wouldn't get a better torpedo launch. And I mean, I scored two torpedo hits with the torpedoes launched earlier, which is pretty hilarious. Now I wish I'd had held those torpedoes in reserve. So, I guess the fire has to do it. And I'm not very well angled here, but seem to have been enough. And now we just let the fire take its course. Oh, well, it was flooding actually. He was flooding as well. Now that's pretty nice. And there is a low health Königsberg here. So, time to secure a kill, I guess. Right, now only two sh enemy ships remaining. So this is really a very short battle, but it was amusing and it shows some footage of a new ship. So I thought you would enjoy that as a bonus video. I usually don't upload on Sundays. Now I'm still testing out a lot of those French ships, so there's probably more content coming at some time. So yeah, I've... French are a bit hit and miss, but you know, they are still in testing. Uh, the T5 has been pretty fun for me so far. And let's see if I can get some nice hits at those Isokasa, and indeed I can. And one more so Salvo, and but he is slowing down a lot more than I expected, and my Salvo misses. But anyway, somebody else got him. Only a New York remaining. So nothing left to do but to speed up. And see if I can get a little bit more damage before this game is done. Maybe a cozy little fire. Or maybe I just miss because I misjudged the speed he is going. Well, that do so much yet. And still no fire, not even any damage. I might... Well, switching to armor piercing here might have been a good idea, the way he is showing broadside. Probably have been a better choice, but I even got the kill and the game's over. So, quick look at the results. Keep in mind this is a test ship. A test ship cannot earn any achievement, so even though I sunk 5, I didn't get my Kraken. I earned myself 1727 base experience, and well, it was a low tier battle. There wasn't that much experienced opposition around. But anyway, the ship performed quite nicely. I scored 80,000 points of damage. And even though somewhere kill secures, I got myself five enemy ships. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. And I'll see you guys next time.